the moon. We're going to learn today all about the moon. Welcome friends to my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher. Did you know that our planet Earth has one moon, while other planets have multiple, such as Jupiter? Jupiter has 60 moons. Our moon is a natural satellite. It looks like it is large and enormous and bigger than Earth. But in reality, if I use this tennis ball to represent Earth, well, then this ping pong ball would represent the moon. The moon is approximately one-fourth the diameter of Earth. As you found out in my last video that you watched on planet Earth, you know that Earth is always rotating on its axis and that Earth orbits the sun. And that's how we determine and know that we get seasons and we, go, we get day and night because Earth orbits. Well, while Earth is orbiting, our natural satellite is also orbiting Earth, meaning it's making a circular path around our planet. The moon is orbiting Earth. While the uh, Earth is rotating on its axis and it is orbiting the sun, the moon is also rotating and it's orbiting around Earth. And as it orbits around Earth, it passes through between Earth and the sun. The sun, remember, is the brightest star in our solar system. And so when we see light off the moon, the moon does not reflect light itself. The moon is reflecting light from the sun just as Earth does. So we see the moon because of the sunlight. Not only that, half of the moon is lit and the other half is not. We call it the dark side of the moon. We can see the moon from Earth, guys, because of that reflecting light from the sun. Now, also we can see the moon because the moon doesn't have an atmosphere like Earth does. The moon is dry. It does not have air, nor does it have water. Earth is for living things. The moon could not sustain anything living because it does not provide air, nor does it provide water. When we look closely at the moon, let's take a close look at it. We see large craters, look like big holes are in the moon. These are from asteroids that have hit over millions of years ago, and some are really deep and wide and some are only a few feet wide. We also what we have on the moon when they look when scientists look closely at it, they call it the Luna Maria. Maria in Latin stands for seas and so they thought long time ago when they were looking at the moon through the telescope they thought it had water but come to find out it does not have water. And because there is no air there, you can leave your print there and it will just stay there in place. Why do we see parts of the moon from Earth? Why does it look like sometimes there is not even a moon that exists out there? Well, it is because the moon orbits the Earth and it orbits the Earth approximately 27 days a month. As it is orbiting and we're looking at the moon from Earth, we can see different parts lit from the sun. And as we see that part that's lit or illuminated by the sun, we can see different portions. We can see if it's a full moon, we can see if it's a first quarter moon, we can see sometimes a crescent, 
It depends on what position the moon is and where we're located looking at the moon from Earth. We're going to look a little closer at the moon orbiting Earth and talk about the different phases of the moon. As we look at this demonstration, we can see Earth, the Moon, and the Sun. The Moon will orbit the Earth, and over here it will show the number of days and hours it has been orbiting. So far it has been orbiting 15 days and 12 hours, and we have a full Moon that we can see. If we press the button, let's look. We're at 16 days, 11 hours, and we still have a full moon. Let's go another day. Now that we've went another day, did you observe as the moon was traveling around the Earth? Now look at the moon closely. What are you noticing about the moon? It is beginning to get dark on this side. Let's do another day. It's continuing to get dark, and this part we called the waning gibbous. As it continued to wane, the waning gibbous phase is between half moon and full moon. It means it's getting smaller. What part is getting smaller? Look at it carefully and think about it. Let's go a couple more days. in a couple of hours. Now let's look. Now we're in the current phase of the waning crescent. Let's go back a little bit, a day. And now we are looking at the third quarter. We're at the third quarter after the waning gibbous. Now we'll move back to a day, up, another day. Now look at the moon here we have a waning crescent. Now that we have a waning crescent, what do you think is going to come next in the face of the moon? Let's move it an hour. Look at the moon. We have a small sliver. We still have a waning crescent. As it continues, the moon is what? Disappearing. Because it's moving into the new moon. When we get into the phase of the new moon, we cannot see the moon. But as the days continues, notice we have 29 days and zero hours. As the days continue, we're going to start over the process from the new moon. Now from the new moon, we are going to move into what we call the waxing crescent. The waxing crescent phase is a thin crescent opening to the left. And it's going to move from the waxing crescent to the first quarter. And look, we're on day seven. I'm gonna go back a day, there we go. We're on day seven, 13 hours, and we're in the current phase 
of the first quarter. It looks like a half moon. Remember I told you there's always the light side and the dark side. That's because the sun and the moon is coming in between the sun and earth. The moon will travel in between and that's part of the sun is reflected onto the moon. As it continues, it will continue to illuminate and we will begin to see more of the moon and we have the waxing gibbous again. And this will take us back to the full moon. Now we have the full moon. Notice it's 13 days, so about half of the month has passed, and then it's going to go back through the cycle again, from the full moon to the waning gibbous, to the third quarter, to the waning crescent, and back to the new moon. You can use this site. You can use this site. I will leave a link below so that you can practice learning the phases of the moon. You've learned a lot about the moon and you've learned about the phases of the moon, but to remember the phases of the moon, I want you to explore a little farther, and I want you to do this fun activity using Oreo cookies. You can use the Oreo cookies to come up with the different phases of the moon. I'm going to leave a link below for a, a packet that you can download or have your parents or teachers to print for you and they can get you the cookies and I want you to make the same display of the phases of the moon. After you have created them, get a toothpick and put in each one and a small piece of paper to put on the toothpick and label each part of the moon as you see it, the phases from Earth. Earth and the moon are so close, but yet the two are different. Earth sustains life while the moon does not. The moon does offer benefits to our Earth, but the moon is our natural satellite and it is there for its purpose, but it is not where we want to live. We want to live here on planet Earth. Remember guys, the moon does not have water, nor does it have air, and we need those two things to live. Well, thank you guys for coming and watching this video today, and I look forward to seeing you next time.